Hey everyone, it's Karen with Yes Please Paper Crafts. And in today's video, I'm going to be creating my second layout for the Calvin Ball Challenge. And so in the rules for day two, it includes things like stars, the color green, cut files, enamel dots. Uh, you can get extra points for putting away four layouts. And then also uh, you can get points for using a ball, finishing an unfinished project, using an airplane, a gnome, or something holographic. So I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be using an airplane or a gnome on my layout. <laughs> uh, but I might be able to uh, put in some of these other items. And so uh, my first thought was to look at the cut balls that I have. And so I went to Cricut Design Space and decided to do a search for the different images that are available. And I just searched on the word star and I found this cut ball. And I haven't taken it off the mat yet. I just cut it out of some white cardstock. Now with Cricut, you can't really create a 12 inch design. Uh, the most that you can do is 11 and a half inches, unless you use a 12 by 24 inch mat, and then you have to have paper that's bigger than 12 by 12, and that's just too complicated. So I made this design 11 and a half inches wide. <laughs> okay, so my, my plan is to take this uh, cut file and back the uh, circles and some of the stars with different patterns, patterns of paper, and uh, so that, I think that'll be really cute. Okay, so for my picture, I went through some of my older pictures to see if I can find a picture that I thought would work with this cut ball. And I found this picture of my great niece. This picture was taken back in 2008, so it's quite old. Uh, but in this picture, she's holding up this poster. And on the poster, it says, you're a star. And it has a picture of her in the middle here. And these are all things about her life at the time. I thought that was really cute. Now, I originally printed this picture out uh, in a, a smaller uh, size. I have this picture, and then I ha they had a close-up of the picture. This was pictures that my sister sent me. And uh, so I thought maybe these might be too small. So I went ahead and printed them again, uh, the size that they are, which is not really a true 4 by 6 uh, but I can just cut these down. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to use the pictures yet. I just knew I wanted pictures that had something to do with stars. And the title of my layout is going to be You're a Star uh, because that's kind of what her poster says. <laughs> okay, so we're really working hard to get the stars in there, even though we only get one point for using a star. <laughs> okay, so the next uh, thing that I was uh, wanting to, to do is to look for some pattern papers and try to figure out a color scheme for this layout. So I was flipping through my 12 by 12 sticker sheets and I came across this sticker sheet from Photo Play. Uh, this is from a collection called Mad Plaid Happy, and I just thought this was uh, super cute, and I just loved it because it just looks like it goes with my picture that I have here. Um, it, it looks like it should uh, work for a picture of a little girl that I think my niece was probably maybe... Mm, she might have been seven years old in this picture. I'm not sure. <laughs> She's now in, uh, I think... Uh, a senior in high school. Okay, so uh, so we have uh, this uh, sticker sheet. So then based on the sticker sheet, I was thinking, well, I have a white cut ball. I have this sticker sheet. Uh, what should I use for my background? And so I thought maybe it would be kind of cool uh, to make the background look like it was the sky. And so I immediately thought of this piece of paper that was in my scraps. Uh, because I recently did a video on my channel where I sorted through large scraps and uh, put them into categories. And this was one that I put that I set aside to be uh, used for a page kit. Now, I hadn't built the kit page kit yet, uh, but I did know exactly where this was in my craft room. It's one of the big advantages of doing organization and sorting through your paper and other items is that you kind of get to know what's in your craft room so that when you're working on a project and you get an idea, you know right where to go to find that and you know that you have it in your craft room. Uh, so I think this paper is super pretty. This is from Vicki Booten. It's from a paper pad. I can't remember which one, uh, but uh, yeah, it's really pretty. It reminds me of the sky. Okay, so I'm going to be using uh, this paper at the top of the layout to make it look like the sky. And then at the bottom, I'm going to be using that star cutout, and I'm not going to worry about this missing down here. I'll probably just fill it in with some white cardstock because I'm going to be backing that cut file, so it's not going to matter uh, what's behind the cut file. Okay, 
So I'm going to need some more scraps to um, back my cut file. And so I went over to my bin by color and pulled out uh, yellow, pink, and green, and blue paper. And these are all scraps. And I'm going to um, try to see if I can find some paper that I can use to back that cut file. I also have this little bin. If the, um, if the pieces are small enough, I might just be able to use paper that's in this bin if I can find a color that would go with my project. Okay, so that is my plan. Okay, and then uh, let's see, what else? I also thought maybe I might bring in a flare button. I have these uh, four flare buttons. And I think probably the one that would work the best is maybe either one of these pink ones. And so I'll probably use one of those just to give a little bit more dimension. Okay, so I have a piece of holographic paper. I was thinking I probably could just punch a couple stars out of that paper. And then um, I have uh, some thickers that I'm going to use to um, create my title. Uh, the white thickers I'm going to use uh, to create a URA and then... I'm going to use these green uh, chipboard letters from Bella Boulevard, and I'm going to spell out the word star and just make that a little bit bigger. I also have these uh, chipboard uh, or thickers that are from, um, I think this is from a Paige Evans collection. I can't remember which one, uh, but I thought the colors went really well, and this will give me a little bit more dimension on my layout if I use some of these uh, chipboards. Okay, and, and then I'm also probably going to throw in some enamel dots because I'll get a point for doing that. <laughs> okay, so y'all know I can't talk and scrap at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, to work on the layout and uh, get the, the uh, kind of the design down. And I'll come back and kind of share what I have and my progress. And then I will finish up the layout and I'll come back and share the finished layout with you guys. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've made some progress on this layout, and I thought I would come back and share with you what I have so far. I backed the cut file with different scraps of paper that I had. I had used mostly the paper that was in this uh, bin, and this is all three by four uh, pieces of scrap paper. And then I, when I couldn't find something here, I went to uh, another bin that I have six by six paper by color, and I used some, some of that paper. So. Uh, these were all the colors that I decided to uh, pull from. So I just have, this is like pattern paper, have some cardstock, uh, just paper that I thought would go with the stickers. And so I pulled the paper that I used to back the cut file uh, using this uh, sticker sheet as a guide for what colors that I thought would work well uh, to back my cut file. Okay, I also used some of the paper uh, that was left over from this uh, background. I used some of that paper as well, and I pulled some of the color, that blue color, uh, down into uh, this cut file. And I really love doing that because it brings that color up there into uh, this. Now, I know some of this is going to get covered up, and you might be wondering why I backed the entire uh, cut file. And I just thought that would be easier <laughs> than trying to figure out uh, where exactly my picture was going to go and, uh, and not uh, do those parts. Okay. So I also wanted to mention that I, did, I didn't do any uh, fussy cutting when I backed this file because I used punches. I used a one quarter inch, a three quarter inch, let's see, one and one quarter inch, a one and three eighth inch, and also a, I think I might have used this one a couple of times, a one and three quarter inch. So I have all these punches. I got these from Stampin' Up a really long time ago. And I, I like having these basic um, shape punches, like the circles. Uh, because it really does um, help with when you're trying to do something like this. I also like that you can turn these over, put your paper in there, and you can see exactly where you're going you're gonna to punch. And uh, it's really quick and easy to use punches. So I really love having punches in my craft room. And uh, they do cost a little bit, but um, it's an investment. Because uh, once you buy these, then you have them for a really long time. Uh, they do eventually wear out. I think I had one that was like a, my one, I think it was my one and a quarter inch. I had to replace it because it wasn't punching anymore. Or it might have been a different one. I can't remember. But I have had to replace one of these. But I think I've probably had these punches for about 10 years. In, uh, or thereabouts. <laughs> okay, so let's see what else did I do. Um, I also decided that I would punch out some stars from the holographic paper, which I did that. So I have these little stars that I can use on my layout. And uh, it was really cool to be able to use up some of my scraps. 
because I had even more pieces of paper. I think I threw a few pieces away. I mean, um, this is like something I can just go ahead and throw away. So that's super cool. Okay, let's see. Um, here is my picture. I went ahead and matted my picture on some white cardstock. And I wanted to pull in more green because my title is, um, you know, has these uh, green letters. And I know that I want to put my title up here because look what happens if I try to put my title down here. Um, because this type, these uh, letters have polka dots and this paper is polka dots, um, that looks really busy. Uh, but if I put it up here, it looks super cool. <laughs> and I made sure to match this color in some of my cut file so that I could have that color, you know, throughout the layout. Especially since, I didn't mention this, but I went ahead and matted my layout with this paper right here. And this was from Fancy Pants uh, Joy Parade. And it's a really pretty uh, striped paper. And it doesn't have green in it, but I still think it works. It has all the other colors. Okay, so since I wanted to bring in more green, I decided that I was going to mat my picture a couple of times. So first I matted my picture with white. And I haven't done this yet, but I'm thinking that I'm going to probably mat my picture with the green and then with the pink. And it's going to make it a much larger element on my page. And one of the reasons why I'm going to do green first and then pink is because I think what I'm going to do with my picture is I'm going to pop the picture up here. And so I'll have a place to rest my title above my picture um, like that. And I don't want the green to be next to the green. <laughs> so uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, map my picture a couple of times. And then once I do that, I will uh, come back and start embellishing. Now, I did pull a couple of things off the sticker sheet because I really love this little sticker here. It says, do happy, think happy, be happy. And I thought I would put this over here. I was looking for something to kind of cover up a part of the cut file here that is messed up. So I'm probably going to put that over here. I also have a butterfly to put up here on the, on the sky. And then I have this little tag that says celebrate and it's hanging from a little heart. And I thought I might um, pop that over here somewhere and um, make a couple of clusters. So I'm probably going to have a cluster up here at the top corner, a cluster down here, and then uh, maybe one next to the picture right here. So I'm going to figure that out once I get the this glued down and get my picture glued down. I'm going to put my title and then I'll work on the embellishments. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue to work on this layout and I will come back and show you the finished layout. Okay, so before I glue this down, I wanted to show y'all the back, uh, just so you can see how I back this cut file. I just used all different uh, size circles. And then I'm going to get, just go ahead and glue this down. And I also forgot to mention that I did also uh, put down this yellow paper at the bottom, uh, just because I wanted something that was a little bit more solid uh, behind here instead of this stripe. Because originally I was thinking that I was just going to put white cardstock underneath this and then what I realized was that um, it just didn't look right and so that's why I decided to go ahead and mat this um, layout onto another paper so that this cut file would stretch across you know most of that paper that's underneath it. Okay so y'all know I can't scrap and talk at the same time so I'm going to go ahead and finish the layout and I'll come back. Okay so I wanted to share the final layout with you guys. I did end up pulling in some additional embellishments and I didn't use some of the things that I thought I would and sometimes that happens. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to share with you uh, what I did end up using. I did use quite a few of the stickers from this uh, photo play uh, Mad Plaid Happy and I, I just thought that was super cute and I didn't end up using anything from this set of thickers. I didn't quite go with the look and feel of this layout, even though the colors are very similar. I did end up uh, pulling in these stickers. These are from Firefly, and it was a pack of stickers. I, I got this from Tuesday mornings. It was $5.99, but it was three different sets of stickers, all different. Uh, so the top one, though, uh, I thought it was uh, really cool because uh, the uh, look and feel of these stickers really went with this layout. It's kind of fun and playful um, and young looking. And so uh, that's what I ended up doing. I pulled this little uh, three-dimensional uh, bouquet of flowers. Also this little sun and cloud. I thought that was super cute up there in the sky. And then the other thing that I brought in was a flare button. Uh, but instead of using the flare that I started with, uh, which was 
Uh, these two here, uh, they didn't quite go with the color scheme, and so I ended up not using the ones with the stars. Uh, but I found this other one that was in my stash. Uh, this is a button I made. Uh, I sell this one in my button shop. And I have a link in the description below if you're interested in checking out the flare buttons. I sell uh, flare buttons in my shop. And so, uh, yeah, I love this one. It says, be awesome today. And I thought the colors really went with this layout. Okay, and then the last thing that I did, uh, or actually two more things I did, I added in some puppy stickers. I, I found these little birds. I just needed something up here at the top of this little card. And so I added a little uh, bird at the top of each one of those little things. I just love adding little birds and perching them on top of things. I think it's super cute. And the last thing that I did was I added some enamel dots so I could get the points. And so you'll see uh, here in each one of my clusters, here and then up at the top and over here I added uh, three enamel dots. Okay, so uh, that's it for this layout. I'm gonna give y'all a close-up. Now I do have a short video clip of my two dogs, Bella and Lily Bell, that I'm going to put at the end of this video. So if y'all want to see that, stick around to the end. And uh, yeah, I thought this came out super cute. I love the uh, the uh, cut file that I used. Uh, I think it's, a lot of it was covered up, but I think you can still see enough of it that it looks super cool as part of the background. And then you can see here that when I put my title uh, here, I, I did put the T down so that I could make the URA um, words go straight across. Otherwise, you know, that T would have been sticking up. But I think that looks okay. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it kind of goes down into the picture. And then I added uh, the holographic stars as well. So yeah, I'm super happy with the way that this layout turned out. And uh, that's, all, that's all I have. So hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like because it helps me to know what type of videos people like to see. And if you would like to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you join my channel. Okay, so that's all I have. Y'all take care, have an awesome day, and I hope to see you next time. Bye now. Hi, Miss Lily Bell. What you doing? Are you up to something? <laughs> yeah, are you? <laughs> Hi, Miss Lily Bell. Hi, Miss Little Bit. <laughs> Hi, Miss Big Britches. <laughs> Hi, Miss Lily Bell. What you doing, baby? Where's Bella? Bella, where you at? Hi, girls. What y'all doing? <laughs> Are y'all going to help me do some scrapbooking? They were they were hoping I was going to the kitchen. And instead I came in my craft room. <laughs> and they looked confused. Were you thinking I was going somewhere else? Say, it was so funny because Bella was running in front of me. Uh, she likes to follow me, but she gets in front of me and she runs and she looks behind her <laughs> and then she'll run and she'll look behind her and she's just she's just uh <laughs> she's just so funny because she wants to lead the way but she doesn't know where where, where we're going <laughs> right lily bell mm -hmm. and then lily bell she follows behind me so we make it like a little train through the house with bella running ahead i gotta watch it though because sometimes if um Bella gets confused and she'll stop and then if I don't, if I don't, if I'm not careful, I'll just uh, trip right over her. <laughs> right, Lily Bell? So you got anything that you want to talk about, Miss Lily? What did you do today? Did you have a nap? So your day was pretty uneventful. <laughs> you want to come over here and say hello? Can you say hi? Say mama needs to give you a bath. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll have to give you a bath tomorrow. Would you like that? Might need to trim up your haircut a little bit.
podcast. It's getting to where we might need to make an appointment for you to go get, get a new hairdo. Mm-hmm. You want me to make an appointment? I can do that. <clears throat> Lily Bell loves to go get her hair cut. Mm-hmm. She does. <laughs> yep. Can you sit? Nope. You just gonna stand there and stare at me? <laughs> All right then. <laughs> Can I do some scrapbooking now? <laughs> He's like, wait, wait. I thought we were gonna get something. I thought we were going to the kitchen. <laughs> Did you think it was treat time? <laughs> is it treat time? It is. <laughs> do you want a treat? Would you like a treat? Can you speak? Can you say woof woof? How about you, Miss Bella? She heard the word treat. She came running. <laughs> yeah, treat time. <laughs> it's treat time. Yeah. <laughs> You're hungry? Okay, I can get you a treat. You want one right now? Okay, let me go get you a treat. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> okay, so y'all ready for your treat? We got little heart shaped cookies or biscuits from my girls <laughs> okay so y'all sit down okay leave it uh-uh uh-uh leave it okay <laughs> was that good you want more? Would you like another treat? You would? Can you speak? <laughs> I love how Lily Bell bounces up and down when it's treat time or when it's time for food and she's hungry. You're so funny. You're like a little bouncy bunny. <laughs> bouncy bunny. Okay. Can you sit? Can you down? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get you another treat. Okay. <laughs> oh, y'all did it down and I didn't even ask you. <laughs> up, down, up, down, <laughs> up, down. <laughs> They're getting so close. Y'all need to back up. Back up so I can have room to put the treat down. Okay, leave it. Leave it. Bella. <laughs> leave it. Leave it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> They're all about the treats. Are y'all all about the treats? <laughs> okay, well, I need to get some scrapbooking done. Mm -hmm. That This is a craft room, after all. <laughs> Can I do some scrapbooking now? <laughs> Can y'all say goodbye to the YouTube people? Well, say goodbye. Can you speak? Woof, woof. Speak. <laughs> speak. <laughs> speak. Woof, woof. Can you speak? Lilybell, can you speak? Come on, you can do it. <laughs> They're like, we're doing it down. Can you give us another cookie? <laughs> job okay i'll give you another one we got a half a one in there so y'all can have a half another one more <laughs> okay so this is the last one okay and then the kitchen's closed okay so leave it okay <laughs> that went really quick didn't it <laughs> Okay, well, that's all we have. So y'all want to say goodbye? Can y'all speak? They're too busy licking their lips. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Was it good? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get some scrapbooking done. So that's all we have. Y'all take care. Hope you have an awesome week, and we shall see you next time. Bye now.